Corbin Espinosa. I'm both the Coda and Ojibwe. I am considered the curator here at Two Rivers Gallery, although um, what I like to see myself as I've gotten older is as a teacher. We look at art as a means of both educating and trying to help people um, present their stories because as you know every picture tells a story and the idea behind that is that everyone has something to say and how you facilitate that. Um, whether it's in my role as a, as a curator has been to create themes that allow the most body of works to be shown. Um, historically Indian people when we show art there is no word for art in our culture so what it happens is it's the act of doing so you have painters, you have sculptors, you have people that are making things and, and with that idea um, trying to do exhibits that embrace all those elements and using sort of broad themes. Well, lots of people believe that art and culture are a way to make money. Um, we found that trying to present ourselves as an, as an arts and culture program within the Indian Center is difficult because funding sources look at those that are like high-end art or what people consider high-end and so that elitist attitude is not one that fits with my mission and what I see as important. For me, the gallery is always about a place to help people have that dialogue that makes you think. something to say but the reality is is we represent the human family more than we represent native people and the human family is one that forgot that it was a native that was a human family you know they kind of want to be something different to recognize that they're people they're not they're not white they're not Caucasian they're not German they're not um, Hmong they're not Spanish they're not French they're human they're part of the human family and that would keep us I think much more aware of what how to connect to these kind of policies and that kind of conversation that needs to happen about what's important. So often for me, that's why I say the biggest thing that affects us is racism because we have to defend our ability to use our minds and our family and our history and our ancestors always based this idea on seven generations. So our grandfathers had policy decision making that they said, no, this is, this is how it's gonna be. You know, we're gonna let people come we're not saying they can't come and live here and work here, but we're going to do it side by side and we're going to do it respectfully. We're not going to say they can't come. We're going to feed them and nurture them and make sure they got what they need. But, you know, it didn't work that way. No matter how much they tried to over and over, but they still, you know, that still became part of our philosophy and our way of life was to continue to figure out how do we live side by side? How do we maintain our tribal identity as well as our, our policy making um, visions so that they continue. So just as I was saying people come in the gallery from all over the country, I still remind them that yes this is a space that has artwork on the walls, but these are each and every one of them a story to be told and we could probably spend hours on just one piece if I wanted to do that. Generally people don't give me that kind of time, but you have to remember that's, that's all we have is time. <laughs>